happy Friday. Well, as you know, we're in between seasons. We've done summer. We are getting closer to fall as we inch a little few steps closer each day. And because we're in between seasons, I just don't want to go full on, let's decorate. I just don't want to burn out too fast too soon. So today's video is a small home goods haul. Very minute, but cute. And then I'm going to be sharing two companies with you. It's not sponsored, uh, but they did, did send me some products to share. And um, yeah, let's get into it. I'm like, what do I want to say? There's just too much to say. Let's just get into it. Let's dive in. So the first company I would like to share is Wild Zora. Now, if you follow me on my health channel, I shared, I did an unboxing video where I shared some of the products I got, but I didn't do a taste test or try them. So I thought I would do that today. Many of us are trying to be healthier, and this is a company I can completely get behind, support, and share about because they go above and beyond for their customers. The food is clean, good, wholesome food. And I will be completely honest with you. As you all know, I have been trying to get healthier and slim down uh, because I have an autoimmune disease and inflammation and can pack on me like there's no tomorrow. It's just, it's horrible. And so what I've found that a lot of foods are toxic to me. Processed foods, dairy, um, nuts, some nuts are not good for me, nightshade vegetables. So it's very important for people like me with an autoimmune disorder to try to eat as clean and organic as possible. I think their products are fabulous and I'm gonna be honest with you, their company really and truly has saved me from diving into junk food and snacks, snack foods I shouldn't be eating. And then I, I can go to their products and I, I know I'm getting organic, you know, good, wholesome, clean food. So let me show you. I think it's always important to know about the company that you are interested in. And so anyway, this is Wild Zora. They are a company based out of Colorado. And I think it's also important to know what their company is about. They pro uh, proudly make all their stuff in their USDA certified kitchen, proudly made in America. Yes. And they are 100% gluten, soy, and preservative free with no added sugar. They're paleo, dairy free, and they also have AIP options. Autoimmune protocol, that's what I've been doing. And um, they're made with the highest in quality ingredients that provide long lasting energy. So let me show you what they sent. So they sent me this wonderful box of goodies and they even asked me, you know, what sort of things I liked. And I said, well, I love the dried uh, fruit. Love that for snacks. And I also love, their meat and veggie bars. And when I have to leave my house, as you guys know, I live almost an hour from town. So if I have to run to the store or if, if I have to run errands, I could be gone hours. And it's so hard to find good quality food in the, if you're doing AIP like me. Um, a lot of stuff is made with all the wrong oils, like vegetable oil, sesame oil, things that I can't have. And if I have those on my food, it's like, boom, inflammation all over my body, joint pain. I just can't do it. I can't tolerate it. So I have to take food with me um, because, you know, I don't want to make a mistake and eat the wrong stuff just because I'm starving. So when I leave my house, I always grab a meat and veggie bar, perhaps like a nectarine or an apple or you know some fr some veggies to go with this in a big bottle of water. I'm telling you guys, you guys saw my videos starting at you know Christmas on. I ballooned out like there's no tomorrow. And when I look back at those videos, I'm embarrassed. I am so embarrassed that I let myself get that bad and out of control with my eating. And in return, 
you know, it created a toxic environment for me and inflammation just, it bloated me out like a huge balloon. And when I look back at those videos, I'm like, that's not me. I didn't even see myself looking like that, you guys. I knew I felt horrible, but I didn't see myself looking that big, that bloated. And if you look at me now, you, you can clearly tell. I have a way to go, you know, I'm a work in progress, but compared to those videos, I have lost a lot of weight. The inflammation come, has come down and I feel so much better. And, it, and, and a lot of this I can contribute to, to Wild Zora products because they've been a lifesaver for me, truly. I love Wild Zora because when I did my first um, video, I, I don't even think she knew who I was. She literally sent me an email with a video asking me how I like my products. Was there anything that I didn't like that they could improve on? Um, they're always looking for that feedback. And she said, let me know if I can help you with anything else. And it was a personal video. And I thought that was so sweet, so going above and beyond. Nobody does that these days, you guys. So when she did that, I thought, you know what? This, I love this company and I love her. She cares. When they sent me this box, they, she sent me a, a handwritten card, you know, with my name on it. And she said, thank you. Um, I, I shared with her that I did a video about her products. And, and then she wrote me a little note in here. And I just thought it was, I was so touched by it. So thank you, Zora. I love your products. I love what you do. And you're truly helping people like me. I get emotional. So I just... Uh, dove into the box and immediately I went to a couple of my favorite things. Um, first of all, fall is coming up and this just caught my eye, air dried harvest fruit mix. It's oranges, figs, and pears. And this is the important part guys, no added sugar, no dyes, no sulfates and gluten free. Let me tell you that if you are a person such as myself, you just are, you become a toxic environment when you eat all that bad stuff they put in our food. You will feel like you've won the lottery because you start to feel so much better. And they truly have helped me. And if I can help just one person and they can help just one person, oh my gosh, it's, You'll feel like you you like hit the jackpot, you know, like the inflammation's gone, the joint pain's gone, your your tummy pains are gone. You'll just feel like oh. um, mid afternoon. I may sit down with a little cup of tea or uh, my water, and I may be editing a video. I may be just surfing the internet. I don't know, and I'll just sit and nibble this, but. Um, Check this out. So this is like a pear. It's like I said, it's uh, dry. So good. If you have a craving for sugar, you will enjoy this bag of goodies. And you won't feel guilty because it's good for you. A dehydrated orange with the peel on it. Um, sometimes what I do is I break it in half like this, pulls it right off. And you can eat the rind if you want. I've done both. I've eaten it with and without. Me personally, I prefer it without just because it's a little strong, but it comes right off. It's delicious. And I love the little figs. I feel like I'm having a scrumptious tree, but it's so healthy for you. Highly recommend. And keep in mind, if you've got a camping trip coming up and you wanna hike the trails and you want a good healthy snack to go with you, this is the Italian beef with garlic, oregano, and basil. And 
Again, no gluten, soy, nuts, milk, or nightshade vegetables are in this product. So you, you know that this is going to, this protein is gonna make you full. It's gonna be a nice little snack and you're not gonna have all the toxic garbage, garbage, that's in a lot of the snacks we eat from the grocery store. And I forgot to mention that these little um, beef bars, they've got Italian beef, Mediterranean lamb, and apple pork. So you've got options and they're very good. These are also great for road trips. Um, I just, you know, or just if you want a snack, a healthy snack. So let's dive in and try this. So when you get your little meat bar, if you like beef, if you don't like beef jerky, you won't like this. Well, you might, I don't know. But um, when you get your little meat bar, it comes in three little pieces, okay? And ingredients are grass-fed beef, organic fruits and vegetables, such as spinach, apricots, dates, basil, onion, garlic, um, mushrooms, sea salt, lemon, marjoram, and oregano. I like it. I like this one because it's a little sweet, a little savory. So it's the best of both worlds. And again, when I leave my house, I always take one of these. They have different ones. I've tried the lamb. This is, I don't know, I just like this one the best. It's, like I said, the Italian beef. I take this with a big bottle of water, some fruits, some veggies, and I've got myself a meal on the road. So if I'm out with my family and they want to go stop at a, a restaurant or fast food or whatever, or we're on the road or something, I can take these with me and just ask for hot, you know, water. And what you do, okay, so this is Summit Savory Chicken Meals to Go. Love that. So you can take this camping. You can take it on the road. You can take it to a restaurant. Just ask for, you know, boiling water. And this is the Summit Savory Chicken, free range chicken with organic spinach, broccoli, and mushrooms. And it has 41 grams of protein per serving, no gluten, grain, nuts, milk, or added sugar, no nightshade vegetables. And literally what you do, is you, I'm not gonna do it because I wanna save this, but you rip the bag open, right? Pour your boiling water in. How much do you have to put in? Open the bag, tear the notch, remove the small white oxygen absorber packet, reseal the bag, invert in shape to distribute the spices that may have settled to the bottom. And then you pour in approximately one 0.5 cups, preferably hot water, directly into the bag. You stir it up, stir it up in the bag, reseal it, mix it. Well, you mix it well. You can add your salt, pepper, or ghee to taste. You know, seal it up, let it, you know, sit there and um, for a few minutes and then open it back up. And then you've got yourself a wonderful meal on the go. Then there is mountain beef stew. Same concept, you pour the water in the bag, stir it all up, put the Ziploc back on, let it sit, and then you've got a meal. And um, yeah, anyway, this one is grass-fed beef with organic carrots, kale, broccoli, and mushrooms, no gluten, grain, nuts, milk, or added sugar, no nightshades, made with 100% grass-fed beef. And this one has 30 37 grams of protein per serving. I'm gonna try it this weekend. They also sent me some savory beef soup and some chicken soup. Let's look at it. Savory beef, mushroom beef. Actually, I've had the chicken before. Um, but what you do is you get like a little coffee mug, put your water in, mix it, and you can literally drink it like tea or coffee and have some fruit, a salad, or whatever with it, and you've got a meal. And then they sent me some baked apple 
uh, let's see, instant grain hot cereal, you guys. And it comes in this little box. And then when you open it up, you've got your little breakfast packets of cereal. And it's made with tiger nuts, apple, cinnamon, and clove. This is the baked apple fla flavor with the tiger nuts, apple, cinnamon, and clove. And it says, take that moment of me time with a bowl of stewed apples, warming cinnamon, and soothing ginger before the day gets crazy. That's so cute. It's paleo, vegan friendly, no added sugar. Um, yeah, it's just good, wholesome, good stuff for you. And then they sent this box. This is the classic one with tiger nuts, coconut, and cinnamon. No sugar added or preservatives. And you just pour a third cup of milk. Well, if you're AIP, you're not gonna do milk. Instant grain-free hot cereal. Comes in this box with these cute little packets. It's autoimmune protocol friendly, AIP, paleo, vegan friendly. Uh, it's just, it, this is, these are just wonderful options. So what else can I show you? Oh, this one this is the tropical um, air dried fruit mix with mango, banana, and pineapple. Look at the dried pineapple. This dried pineapple is not hard. Sometimes I go to the store and I get the um, dried fruit or uh, freeze dried and it's so hard. This is chewy. The pineapple, oh my gosh, and the mango is delicious. Love it. If you get the munchies and you want like popcorn, pull out one of these and just enjoy this wonderful, healthy snack. So down below, I'm going to link their website. Now, if you order from their website and you're a new customer, they're going to give you 15% off and I've got a discount code for you and it will be all in caps, healthy seasons 15. I'll have it linked down below for you, their website, the code you put in, and you'll be able to go there. And if you see anything you like, or you just wanna check it out and you purchase something for the first time, you'll be able to take advantage of that discount. So check it out down below. So thank you to the Wild Zora Company. You guys are amazing. I cannot tell you how much I appreciate the items you sent me and the products you make because they truly are helping people like me. So thank you. Next, we're gonna revisit a company I mentioned not too long ago, and that is Goose in a Boot. Now, when I found this company, I was shopping at a little farmer's market with my daughter, and we came across these wonderful candles. You may remember, I shared them with you. They come in these cute little boxes. It looks like I've just been to a bakery. And you open it up, and you have the cutest, cutest candle. And it, I can't even tell you how good these candles smell. And so I went a little crazy, as you guys may remember, and I bought several. And when you buy these products, it comes with a cute little business card. And they're on Facebook too. I'm gonna link everything below for you. When you take it out, it's in this cute little tray. So it's just a darling, darling way to sell a product and these would be great as gifts as well anyway i have been hoarding these in a cabinet and every time i walk past this cabinet i'm like oh, it smells so good but i've been holding off on some of these because i've been waiting for fall fall i just go crazy burning candles i just love the scent and this is the pumpkin candle i got oh my gosh it smells so good so, 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 so good. I wish we had smell -a vision So I got the peach one. In fact, I'm gonna burn that. Hello, it's summer, why haven't I? And I'm gonna hold off on the pumpkin one for fall. Then I've got a blueberry one. I shared this with you. So darling. Then I have, 
Oh, the raspberry smells really, really good too. Check this out. Oh, it smells so good. And look what I've been doing with it. So if you purchase one of these little candles or, or one that's this size, you can get a cloche just like this, put it in there, and display it somewhere in your kitchen. Is that not darling? Oh my goodness, why have I been holding off on this? I'm gonna, I'm gonna burn these today, some of them. Um, funny story, the other day my daughter was home and I'm downstairs and the whole house started smelling like pumpkin spice. And so I yelled up to my daughter and, and I said, Kaylee, are you burning a candle up there? She goes, oh yeah. And she came and she came downstairs. She goes, mom, you know those candles you got at the little farmer's market? And I said, yeah. She goes, well, I went there the other day and I got myself one and I'm burning it upstairs. And I went, oh, that smells amazing. It's, it literally smelled the whole house of that wonderful scent. So I highly recommend these. And by the way, when I shared these the first time, uh, the lady contacted me and told me that, well, she thanked me for sharing about her products. And at the time, I didn't even know she shipped. I, I just didn't know. And so thanks to you guys, um, she got a bunch of orders and people and returning people uh, getting more of these. So she sent me a little box to thank me. And I'm just so touched because I told her she didn't have to do it, but I was sort of happy she did because she has great products. So she sent me a box of goodies and I thought I would share them. And if you guys are interested in any of these, she ships. So, you know, you won't be, you will not be dissatisfied because her products smell so good. So, so good. She sent me this harvest candle. Smells amazing. I'm telling you, I'm gearing up for fall. I, I can't, I can't wait. I just can't. And then there's this one. And this one is cocoa butter cashmere. Smells so good. Very, very nice scent. And this one is an odor eliminator. This might be good if the dogs aren't smelling so great. You know what I mean? Or you need to wash their bed and their beds don't smell good. And you know how dogs get. That's a good one. He sent me some wonderful soaps because I didn't see any of this when I was there. May it, maybe it was there, I just wasn't looking around enough, but she sent me this one. This is Lavender Sage Rosemary Soap. Oh, and it smells so good, look at it. That smells really good. This one is Avent. Aventus or Aventius? I don't know how you pronounce it, but let's smell it. Ooh, that smells really good too. I like how they're kind of um, jaggedy on the edges. It looks really cool. And then she sent different room sprays to try out. This one is Smoke and Odor Eliminator Room Spray. Ooh, that smells good. I like it. Let's smell the next one. This one is Lavender, Sage, and Rosemary Room Spray. Ooh, that's nice. Ooh, that's really nice. I like that one. Very nice and fresh. And then this one is Lilac lilac in Bloom Room Spray. That smells good. Ooh, that's pretty too. That reminds me of a spring bouquet of flowers. And then she sent me a bunch of these. This one is Honeysuckle Tarts. Mmm. Pink Sugar Tarts. Let me set them down. Oh, cocoa butter cashmere, lavender sage rosemary tarts, and she sent me this beautiful wax warmer. So Ellie, Ellie, thank you so, 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 so much. It was so unexpected and so generous and thoughtful of you. And 
I can't wait to try all these products out. I, I'm just amazed at all the wonderful products you create. And again, if you guys would like to purchase the, any of these, I will link her information below. Run over, check her out. If you have any questions or want to order anything, she's there for you. So anyway, there you go. There's the two companies I wanted to talk about. And now, oh, one more thing. I got another gift. So last week, the doorbell rings and there's a box sitting out there. And it said Mackenzie Childs, and I got in trouble. My husband thought I ordered Mackenzie Childs, and he knows how expensive her products are. And I said, I, I didn't, I promise, I promise. And then I, we knew who it was from. My dear friend, Lucy, and her mama, I just love them, you guys. She's, she's a subscriber of mine, and we became friends, and, and she surprises me all the time with her love and generosity. And she sent me this beautiful Mackenzie Childs pumpkin. And look at the stem, as you all know. And she even took into account the fact that I'm adding, you know, black here and there. And so she got one that has black on the stem. And you can see, I hope you guys can see the detail. It's almost a little shimmery. It's, it's, and it's a more muted color. She took that into consideration as well. She is so lovely and dear to me. And I just love her. Thank you so much, Lucy. I love it. I will display it and think of you and your sweet mama every time I look at it. All right. The haul starts now. So yesterday I was in Charlottesville shopping at their home goods. And I came across these items. So you know how I'm very much into the wood products right now. Well, I came across this. I thought this was so cool. It has little feet on it. So if you want to do a cute display in your kitchen for fall, you could set it off to the side. You could put a pumpkin. You could do a cloche. And like maybe a little candle right here. See, there are so many options with these little boards. I am completely obsessed. Then, these were new. They had just come in, and I thought, hmm, do I dare? Do I dare? And they had them in different si three different sizes, but I just got two. Um, and you can stack them, almost like a chair tray. You could do something like, I don't know, they had a big one, and then a mid-sized one, and then this one on top, and they were all stacked. But I'm not gonna stack these. I'm probably gonna do something completely different. But I thought they were cute. I liked the wood feet. They're galvanized steel on the top, and I just thought, rustic, cute. Rustic cuteness. Now, going back to the wood products, I found this. This is so different for me but it's a little piece of wood. And then I've got this, I'm gonna put a pretty candle in it, maybe some dried pumpkins, then the candle. And at night, it will just glow. Now I have some of these pedestals in my house and I love them so much. I came across another one, $12.99, good deal. I like how it's kind of scalloped around the edge. It's got the metal feet or iron feet love you can do candles on these you can do really cute displays and it doesn't have to be just in a kitchen it could be on a tabletop and it's going to look pretty these little feet give it character and the warmth of the wood kind of warms up the space and then you can showcase whatever it is on top then i came across this it almost looks like a little dough bowl with the same concept you know with the little feet on it gives a character and you could put some cute little pumpkins, some bowl filler, some potpourri, candles. And then I came across these leaves. So I thought these were really pretty for fall. See with the wood color, how it warms it up and just, it gives it oomph. I got some of these because I'm going to be putting them in a large woven basket and incorporating some fall colors with this. 
This I think is gonna go up on top of my huge bookcase in the sunroom area. And I need a pop of color up there. I just had to have a pop of green. I found this candle and it said pumpkin and coconut. It smells amazing. And then I found this wood pumpkin. It's darling and it's going with my complete, you know, wood look I have going on here. It would even look cute displayed in something like this. You could put some raffia on the bottom and, you know, a couple little sprigs of fall leaves. How cute is this? This, be, this would be darling on any tabletop. And then I found this black apple. I'm like, yes, because I have so many, I have lots of pops of black, lots of pops of wood warm tones, and the two together look amazing. Not that I'm gonna do this, but I mean, I could do like a little grouping of three. I don't know, but I thought it was cute. I came across this base, $12.99, not bad. And I just, I thought it would be really pretty, possibly with this on a table with some dried florals. I don't know, I'm trying to think of like a grouping of three to do with this. And then I came across these two beautiful vases. Um, these were only $5.99 each. I think they're darling. I could even do something in here, you know? I just love the wood with the color. The last thing I got was from Amazon. Let's see what it looks like. I was looking for a cute little pillow to go on the sofa. And this is sort of a grayish brown looking pillow cover with this color on the back. And it says gather. How appropriate for fall. Anyway, these pillow covers are lifesavers for me. I was always, I had no idea pillow covers were a thing until you guys told me about it. And so I started shopping Amazon for pillow covers. I've got tons of down pillows. So now I can just, when I'm done with them for the season, I just fold them up, stack them down in my basement storage room and pull them out when I need them. All right, my sweet friends, I know this was sort of a different kind of a video for me today, but uh, come back next week. Hopefully we'll be up to decorating and uh, I can start like subtly showing you things here and there that pertain to fall without going full force fall. I don't know. Let me know. Are you guys ready or not? Do I even dare to open that political decorating can of worms? Politically charged these days. You know what I mean? Even decorating. I've seen other people posting fall and some people are just going full out crazy like, no, don't you dare. How dare you? And then other people are like, yes, yes, bring it. I can't wait. And it's like, how do you try to find the middle ground? I guess in that case, you just got to do what you want to do if it's your channel, right? So, do I dare? Do I, why am I asking? I might do it. I might. So down below, I will link Wild Zora's website with the discount code for new customers should you like to order any of their products and try them out. And the discount code is Healthy Seasons 15 But again, I'll link it all down below. And I will also link Goose and a Boots website and information should you want to order any of her products. They're, those, mm, they smell amazing. Amazing. So anyway, check it out down below. It's all going to be down there in the description box. And I will see you guys next Wednesday. I I think. Now, hold on a second. My daughter, uh, we're moving her into college next week. We will be out of town at some point. So my videos might be off. I'm not sure. But I will be sure to let you know in the community post when I will be posting my videos. So it may be on schedule if I can kick them out this weekend, or I may be off a day or so. So stay tuned. All right, everybody. Have a great weekend. I love you all. Sending you my love. Mwah. Bye, guys.